guys, I'm Dylan Brooks and we're here at the Virginia Tech Greenhouses. Today we're going to be going over grafting on, on apple trees, why you should graft trees, and selecting rootstocks and scion wood. Here we have, we have a rootstock and a scion. The rootstock is an M111. That's a semi-dwarf rootstock. And so this is going to help control your size. That way you don't have apple trees that are 60 feet tall and you can't get to the apples. And then the empire, the, the scion wood, which will go on top, that's being selected because the apples are better and it's got better fruit. When you are grafting, the most important thing to look at is making sure they're the same size. You want the sizes to line up, that way the campions will match up after you graft it. This will allow the xylem and phloem to exchange water and this is going to keep the plant alive. When you're preparing your wood, you want to make sure the buds are facing in the same direction. The buds on everything are always going to point upwards and it's very important you have them all facing upwards, otherwise they're never going to take off and grow. And so right now this, uh, this rootstock is too tall, it's not going to stand up in the pot well after you graft it, so it's good to shorten it a little bit. Uh, it's probably best to have about six, six buds left on it. You also want to make sure that top is cut off because there's a little bit of desiccation on the, on the end of this rootstock, so it's good to get a clean cut when you're making contact. And always cut right, right below a bud, with about six left over. And then with uh, your scion wood, all you need is around four or five buds left over. And again, you want to trim both sides off right below a bud. That way you have a good fresh surface and it's not too large either. So now that we have two that are similarly sized, then we can go ahead and make our cut. Your bench grafting tool, that's going to put, put an indentation in it so that the scion wood and the rootstock fit together nicely. After that, we have, we have a little bit of toilet bowl wax here. We're going to use that to, to prevent desiccation around that graft. And then the last thing you need to do is you wrap it up with, uh, with propagator's tape. Take that, wrap it around. When you do plant it, you want to plant it just so the top of the roots are about an inch below the, the top of the pot. 